All right, y'all, I'm so pumped for this because this episode you're about to listen to today is three of five in a powerful series I've put together, especially for my aspiring producers called Boss Producer Business. If you haven't checked out the first two episodes of this series, I want you to go and listen to them now. It is the episodes just before this one, and I'll also link it in the show notes. In this series, I'm going to walk you through the steps it takes to go from being an unpaid amateur to a paid professional. I'm also going to give you a sneak peek into how I run my six-figure production company at a high level of performance and profitability. Now, I want you to get the absolute most that you can out of this series, so I created a handout for you to help you implement everything that I'm covering. Just head over to Produce Like a Boss bosspodcast.com slash business to download. Also, if you make it through the end of this series, I will have an entire workbook chalked up full of goodies, recaps, and worksheets just for you. So let's jump in. Do it like a, like a, like a boss. Like a, like a boss. Do it like a, like a, like a boss. Like a boss. Today, I want to talk to you about setting up your business so you can start monetizing your skills as a producer. You see, it's really easy to put the cart before the horse and start seeking opportunities to get paid without actually having systems in place. I cannot tell you how many times I've known producers or singers out there trying to get paid work, and the second an opportunity comes up, they're turning around going, wait, how do I know what to charge? How do I collect payment? How do I manage multiple jobs? What should I say in these emails? (laughs) And stuff like that. These are all the ducks that you're going to want to get in a row before you start peddling the pavement looking for customers. So let's start with number one, which is setting up your production company. And don't let that scare you. Setting up a production company just means setting up a company that allows you to provide services as a producer or musician. You can listen to the Produce Like a Boss podcast, episode number 44, five skills you need to run a production company to get the skinny on what it takes to set that up. And I'll drop that in the show notes. Next, you'll need a catchy producer name. Then you're gonna wanna get a logo, a bio, a portfolio, a website. You're going to want to grab all the social media accounts for that name. You're going to take some promo shots, even with your iPhone is fine. And you're going to want to create a pricing guide so you're always ready to answer what your rates are when customers reach out. I would create a filing system, whether it's in Google Drive or on your hard drive, with all of these assets in one place so that they're easy to locate. You'll also want to create automations and templates for tasks that you do on repeat to streamline your workflow. And I will get more into automations later in this series. Now, I know I've mentioned this before, but it's worth repeating as you have to start batching once you start wearing multiple hats or you're going to find yourself running around like a headless chicken in between tasks. Batching helps to maintain your state of flow. So for example, it's easy for me to work on multiple sessions in a day, even jumping from producing one track to tracking vocals on another and so on. But when I switch from a creative musical task to something like marketing or business, I have to use a completely different hat for that. And just that costume change alone literally throws my mojo off. So rather than suffer from context switching, I tend to batch out my days. So for example, one day I might just work on sessions and producing and songwriting. I would call that like an artist music day. Another day, I'd focus solely on marketing and social media. Another day, I'll focus on reach out and business. Another day, I might just build kits and templates and do file organization and so on. And those would all be business days. Now, however you decide to do it, batching tasks is a game changer and it allows you to enter into and maintain a flow state more easily. Next, let's talk about actually setting up your business. So many people ask whether they need to set up a DBA or an LLC or a corporation, and I'm just going to speak from my own personal experience here, so here goes. I didn't start my LLC till I was making over $80,000 a year, and this was actually the advice of my CPA in Nashville at the time. Uh, First of all, there are annual fees, and they can be pretty high depending on your state. Secondly, liability wasn't really a concern in my business as I work remotely. And lastly, I could still write off business expenses as a sole proprietor. So I did. And I eventually became an LLC just a few years ago. Um, I actually file as an S-corp now, but I didn't do that until I got into multiple six figures. Now, that is just my story. And of course, consult your CPA and your lawyer as the laws vary in different states and countries. But just keep in mind that you are able to function as a sole proprietor probably for much longer than you think. And don't let the the fact that you don't have an LLC be a reason for you to not just start. 
Hey, hey, friend, I'm going to take a second here just to interrupt myself to make sure that I tell you about the Boss Producer Business Series Worksheets and Workbook. If you are digging everything that you're learning in this five-part series, you're going to want to head over to Produce Like a Boss Podcast dot com slash business. Every week, this is going to be updated with the latest show notes and worksheets from every episode. And if you make it all the way through to the end on the last episode, I'm even going to drop an entire workbook for you. Also, if you're digging this podcast series, you are going to love, love the Boss Producer Bootcamp. Head over to producelikeaboss.com slash bootcamp to sign up for a five-day free training to help you get started to start your production business today. All right, back to the show. Now let's talk about expenses. Did you know that you can write off things like your computer, your software plugins, your gear, and even part of your rent if you have a home studio? That's right. And once again, I was able to do this as a sole proprietor for years before I became an LLC. I also wrote off things like makeup and clothing, not 100%, of course, but a small amount because I'm in the music industry and because I'm on camera for my job. So you're going to want to start keeping track of all your expenses and receipts. And an easy way to do this is to use one credit card for all expenses. Then they're easy to keep track of. Now, here's where having an LLC can be helpful because you could set up a business bank account and then have a business credit card. And that keeps things uh, super clean. But But I just want to be clear that I was still able to write off expenses even without a business bank account or a business credit card. I just actually used the uh, self-employed app by QuickBooks for a couple years, which was attached to all of my accounts. And I could go through all of my transactions and just swipe left or right for business or personal. It also allowed me to track mileage, which I could write off as well because I was traveling to gigs and also to pick up supplies. Now, the reason I'm giving you this out and saying don't rush to set up an LLC is because I know that that can stop you from taking action. And it's kind of a pain and it's a it's a bigger step to take. And I'm always going to be the voice of just start and then you can pivot as needed. When you need to become an LLC, you will. And don't let that stop you from starting. So once again, consult your CPA. The laws are different for every state. So to recap, here's what we learned today. Set up your production company. You can go and listen to episode number 44 of the Produce Like a Boss podcast, five skills you need to run a production company for more deets on how to do that. Pick a catchy producer name, get a logo, write a bio, build a portfolio, a website, and grab all the social media accounts, take promo shots, and create a pricing guide. Also, keep all of these assets that I just listed in a folder neatly labeled. Next, you're going to batch your workdays so that you don't get stuck in context switching, which will break your flow states. Next, you're going to talk to your CPA about whether you absolutely need to set up an LLC. Most likely, you can just start as a sole proprietor. And lastly, you're going to keep track of all your music-related expenses so you can catch those business owner tax breaks. What? All right, y'all. So don't forget to head over to producelikeabosspodcast.com slash business to grab your notes for this series and some checklists like the one I gave you today to help keep you on track and accountable with your new business. So I want to check in with you. How are you feeling? Are you digging this business series? Because my goal is to arm every singer, songwriter, producer, entrepreneur with the tools they need to run a successful business from their home studios. And like I said in the last episode, this takes work. And while I pride myself in being able to simplify things, didn't ever say this was going to be easy. I can sit here all day until the cows come home and give you the exact steps I have taken to build a six-figure business. But the truth is, most people won't do the work. But not you, my friend. You are listening to this podcast because you are my people. And I know that my people are ready to level up and take their careers into their own hands. And that's why I've created the Boss Producer Bootcamp, which starts September 7th. Now, in this bootcamp, you're going to discover the mindset that it truly takes to go full-time as a music producer. And I'm going to show you what it takes to run a business from your home studio. And I'm going to lay out the path from amateur producer who's unpaid to pro producer who gets paid. Okay, I'm going to show you how to increase the quality and speed of your productions and how to make pitchable, placeable, profitable music and ways to make money online, whether you're a singer, songwriter, producer or mix engineer or instrumentalist. Not only that, we're going to give away a ton of cool prizes and there will be contests and even scholarship opportunities. Now, this boot camp is 100 percent free, but don't get it twisted, y'all. Okay, this is not your run of the mill fluff filled freebie where you show up and give your time and don't actually receive any real value, okay? You are gonna leave this bootcamp with a plan to start your production business today. So I want you to treat this training like it costs you thousands of dollars because that's how valuable it is. I was just telling a buddy of mine about this the other day, a buddy of mine who's in the industry and he went, 
oh my God. And I was telling him about the things I'm teaching in this. And he goes, I went to Berkeley and they didn't teach us this stuff. So <laughs> just head over to producelikeaboss.com slash bootcamp to reserve your seat today. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And hey, are you digging me doing the podcast on YouTube? Because we didn't used to do that. This is like a brand new thing I'm doing for this series specifically. But if you dig it, I might keep doing it. So let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time we drop a new video, which is every Tuesday. And I will see you next week. Do it like a, like a, like a boss. Like a, like a boss. Do it like a, like a, 